Hello guys, welcome to the fourth tutorial on our Unix programming series for TCS exams. In our last tutorial, we saw about the field separator and output field separator with examples. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create variables in our programming language. But before that, I would like to explain the basic structure of our programming language. This I did it in tutorial one. If you wanted, you can go see it over there. Either way, I'm going to explain it again. So for the awk programming language, how it starts it, how it starts is, I did explain this in my first tutorial. I'm going to explain it again. This is nothing new. How do we like write the awk programming language? So the basic syntax is first we type the word a w k and then we leave a space. We open a single quotation. All right. We open single quotes. First comes the begin block. This begin block is where we specify the field separator and output field separator and also our variables. Then comes the action block. Then comes the end block. All right. Now the begin block gets executed only once. Now what about the action block? See the begin blocks gets executed once. As soon as the begin block gets executed, look at the input over here. How many lines does this input have? How many records? It has three records, right? So the action block will get executed three times. That is for each line. The first line will go into the action block. It will get executed. The second line will go into the action block. It will get executed. And the third line will go into the action block. It will get executed. It will execute. It'll get executed as many times uh, as the number of records in the input and in the end block. Once all these three lines get executed in the action block, the control moves to the end block. So the first the control comes to the begin block. Then it goes inside this action block. This action block is like a loop where every line in the file, the input file gets executed. After every line gets executed, then it goes to the end block. Now you might be confused, like shouldn't we have a space in between these or like why are they like clubbed together in my first tutorial I showed you like this right I showed you like this this is just to like have a better structure you can have them in separate lines or you can have them together like this it doesn't make any difference the thing is they should be inside these quotations that is all all right you can have them like this this makes it look like uh, more better it is more readable compared to like having them in the same line you can write the code like this or you can have them in the same line as well. That is your preference. This doesn't make any difference in the execution. All right. So this is how the begin the action and then the end block works. Now, how do we create a variable in order to create a variable? What we need to do is okay. Before that also while specifying field separator, the field separator over here is a hyphen. We always need to put a semicolon over here after the field separator and then similarly after the OFS as well. Let's say I want to have a slash. We should use a semicolon. All right. Whenever we use the FS or the OFS, we always need to have a semicolon after that. The same applies to the variables, the variables that we are creating as well. These are the inbuilt variables, right? So once we like specify this inbuilt variable, we need to have a semicolon. So this is the basic syntax of this of programming language and we specify the FS and OFS inside the begin block. Now the variables that we create, let me say I want to create a variable called as um, let it be a. a is equal to zero. I'm creating the variable in the begin block. Now after I create it here, I have to put a semicolon. That is all. Now if I print it over here, how many times will it get printed? It will get printed three times because there are three lines in my input field. See zero, zero, zero. It gets printed. Now if I wanted to print only once, I can put this print in the end block. or else I can put it in the begin block. Since the flow doesn't really matter in this case, sorry, I have to put it after the semicolon. 
it'll get execute it'll get printed only once c0 when i put it in the begin block and then the end block it gets executed only once but when i put it in the action block it gets executed as many times as there are number as the number of records in the input file now this is how we create a numeric variable let us we specify we create say the variable name and then we create a we assign a value to it now what if i want to create a string variable i open the quotations hello that is all print a hello 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 see it's getting print printed three times since i specified it in the action block okay so guys now let's see an example okay in this example what i want to print is i want to print record uday 22 chennai record raj and then record john 26 i want to add this record thing before each and every line all right now how can i do this now let's look at my input my input is like this i want to add the string record before everything so what i can do is i can change this variable to record and if i type in print a over here and then dollar one comma dollar two comma dollar three right what is the output field separator over here the output field separator over here is an hyphen so i have to specify it over here ofs is equal to hyphen and then what about the field separator the field separator over here is a hyphen as well a hyphen and then semicolon now this order doesn't matter i can specify the fs first i can specify a first i can specify ofs first this order doesn't matter what matters is we specify them inside the begin block now if i run it record uday 22 chennai record this okay i'm getting the expected output over here all right now for a better understanding let me show how this whole begin block the action block and then the end block gets executed i told you in the beginning right about the begin block gets executed one time the action block gets executed as many lines are there and then the end block gets executed after the action block let me type print begin over here and then let me type print action over here and then print end over here all right now if i click run you see the begin gets executed only once then the control moves to the action block the control in the action blocks remains for three lines the three lines because the three lines of the input file and then once the number of input lines in the input files are processed the control goes to the end block see over here it is printing end begin action and then the end this tutorial we saw about creating the variables and then the structure the syntax and all i hope you understood this in case you have any doubts let me know that is all for this tutorial thank you